Okay, what's up guys? Mohan here and today I'm at Jurong Bird Park and today I'm here to somewhat relieve my childhood and also document this place before it officially closes down next year. First things first, we gotta get inside but uh, we need to purchase a ticket first. Hi, uh, one ticket please. So this one is 10% discount sir, so okay. $2. Okay, can I pay by, is it possible to pay by credit card? Okay, okay go have a nice okay. day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are in, we are in, we are in. And uh, first, I'm gonna visit the penguin coast because I really love penguins, by the way. Oh man. Okay, so no penguins for me today, but uh, so we're gonna have a look around here. We are at our first uh, stop, which is actually, I think this particular building right here, this used to be the uh, monorail station, but since closed, it's now defunct. There's no more monorail. You can somewhat see the remnants uh, of the monorail uh, in this particular station. Okay, uh, we're gonna catch the, the tram now. It's right here. So effectively, uh, this tram service replaced the monorail. This is probably the fastest way and uh, the least tired way to get around Jurong Park right now. At the Jurong Bird Park, there's so much to see and do. World's largest lorry free flight aviary. If you would like to feed the lorries, please purchase a cup of lorry feed from our staff. Remember to take all your belongings with you and keep your tickets for the next part of the journey. Thank you. We arrive at a uh, tram station 2 now. Uh, once again, this used to be a uh, monorail stop also, but the monorail has been defunct. Okay, we're gonna exit now. Okay, we're gonna go into the lorry loft. This place didn't change much ever since uh, I first came here when I was a kid. And there's a real huge Avery with a treetop style cafe design, I think. It's very difficult to spot any lorries here because they're very small and they're very fast. Okay, we're gonna head down now. There's like a little enclosed forest right now. It may seem as if uh, this place isn't enclosed but it's actually surrounded by uh, barbed fences so that the birds won't escape. You gotta love this treetop style uh, bridges. <laughs> Apparently there's a $2 donation for the nectar that you can feed the lorries. But fortunately, I don't have any spot change and the birds aren't coming to me so I guess I have to document other people's close-up lorry experiences. found this nectar somewhere. I uh, didn't really do any justice because um, I think I'm wearing purple. That's why the birds aren't coming to me. Yeah, I'm out of here, I guess. So yeah, I stayed once again. This used to be a monorail station. They've converted into a tram station. Uh, but you can really see the remnants of the uh, previous monorail, which I remembered riding on as a kid. I guess the birds are hiding right now. Because uh, I don't seem to see any birds around here. So this behind me is, is the waterfall aviary. It used to be a monorail station. And you can actually also see some of the remnants of this former monorail right here covered in uh, vines and vegetation. And you can see that this aviary, the platform right here, this was formerly the monorail platform for the waterfall monorail station. Undergoing some renovation work so we are unable to go up there. Now the waterfall aviary is also home to uh, the highest waterfall in Singapore and it's actually man-made even proudly uh, say it it's called uh, Jurong Falls 
and there's some observation posts that we can go to and see the falls okay we made it to the top and there it is Jurong Falls they sold refreshments here but as with any tourist attraction all the prices are inflated <laughs> Where you can view the extremely rare blue Okay, we gotta get out of here. Parrot Paradise. One of my favorite birds because uh, they're very colorful. Actually, a lot of parrots from where I was here previously, but I think a lot of them have been removed or something. The only kind of parrots that I can probably get up close and touch, I guess. <laughs> I'm out of here. You know what, guys? I feel as if I'm in Florida right now with all these flamingos behind me. So that's the end of the program right now. Awkward ending. <laughs> Let's check out this Avery right here. Camera is all about. I don't know what bird that is, but it's, it's kind of cute, kind of pretty, huh? Okay, it looks like I found it. It's a Malay crested fireback. And that was the Siamese fireback. Okay, guess I'm out of here. So as mentioned before, I grew up with Jerome Park in existence. Um, actually, I have went through some elementary school excursions here. I very much 
grew up with this place and with the relocation of uh, Jurong Park to Mandai I'm definitely gonna miss Jurong Park um, you know it's, it's those things that uh, you actually take for granted you know it's always been there but you never really care or bother about the existence and only once it's gone or once it's gonna be gone uh, only then you will probably bring your attention to it so which is why I'm here in uh, Jurong Park you know probably my last visit here before this place shifts to Mandai with the Singapore Zoo and Night Safari and River Safari Awesome session. I'm gonna gotta go somewhere else now. So Shaira doing a good job of feeding the pelicans. <laughs> how long have you been doing this? Uh, how long? A year plus. A year plus. One year plus. Year plus. Wow, yeah, you I seem mean, very experienced. Huh? I, <laughs> this, is, this is not actually the hardest. I'm sure you can do it too. Uh, if you want never to. mind, I don't want to. <laughs> want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, thank you, Shaira. Thank see you. See you around. Pelicans, somewhat uh, graceful birds. Pavilion, as you can see right in front of me, a ran another remnant of uh, the former monorail. This was actually a bridge to cross the monorail line that will pass through under. And these, these stumps right here used to hold the monorail poles. Okay, it looks like we've been to all this. I'm gonna go to the Hawk Arena. Look guys, more flamingos. These are the lesser flamingos. I don't know how less they can be but uh, I think it's because of their small frame I guess. Look at that, they're standing on one leg. Okay, it's basically an amphitheater. Uh, there isn't any show right now but it is a research center so I'm gonna go over there. Oh my gosh, there's still have penguins here, but this, I think, uh, uh, the African penguins, I guess. They don't really need the coal or ice. Okay, so I'm gonna end my tour of uh, Jerome Park. One fireplace to see the gift shop. see a peacock just now, eh? With owls, cute little owls, penguins. How much is this? 40 bucks. Okay, so guys, just in the nick of time, my battery ran out. And uh, 
uh, the camera's dead. I'm recording this on my cell phone. So, um, hope you like this uh, vlog of uh, my final, probably my final tour of uh, Jerome Park. I'm not sure if I'm gonna come back here when this place is uh, close to its official closing. But uh, as you guys heard from Shahira, this place isn't closing anytime soon. Um, it will still maybe here next year. Hey, thank you for tuning in and um, see you in the next one.